Administrate is a training management platform designed to help enterprise organizations streamline learning and development through our cloud-based configurable solution. Administrate's powerful platform provides you the tools you need to build a scalable and efficient training function. We simply don't have the time to show you all that we can do, but let me give you a brief overview so you can get an idea of how we're creating a new system category for learning and development teams. To be clear, you'll use our training management platform to plan, schedule, deliver, analyze, and track all the training you do. What you're looking at here is our training event management system. You see, Administrate allows you to manage any type of training you deliver, whether it's instructor-led, in-person, virtual, blended, or self-paced and online. To manage all of this complexity, Administrate, at its foundation, is a CRM that will manage all of the people, departments, and organizations rolled up in your training function. Administrate can help you promote your training as well as manage training requests and approvals too. Now, besides all of the events you need to deliver and track, our platform will allow you to customize and manage learning pathways for individuals and job roles. It will keep your entire course library organized and curated while managing all of the required resources that you need, including rooms, equipment, and course materials. Furthermore, the platform itself has many different scheduling and planning views, and, and these can also be integrated with other calendars. For those organizations that need help managing all their instructors, we can do that, whether they're your own instructors or, or ones you contract. The neat thing is, is that instructors have their own special access to the platform. They can update their own avail availability and holidays. They can even manage their own training events by importing scores, attendance, and keeping track of all their tasks. Administrate will track all of your training costs by training event as well. And for those of you who want to sell your training or want to invoice other departments for training, we can do that too. We also have our own document management system. Organize all of your content, documents, and training materials in one place and then give special permission and access to those that require it. And finally, something we'll get into later, Administrate has one of the best reporting engines in the industry. Everything Administrate does puts data first, so we'll help you make sure your training results align with your overall business objectives. Now, Administrate has its own LMS, but if you have an LMS you prefer, that's fine. We'll work with however many LMSs you have. We'll connect with your ERP and LXP systems as well. Administrate has an open GraphQL API that we'd love to show your technical team as we have our own easy to use developer portal, which is seen here. It's simply our vision to easily connect to other ed tech and third party systems. Conveniently, we also have plenty of these out of the box integrations that are gonna save you a ton of time and increase efficiencies like Zoom and Microsoft Teams for virtual training and SurveyMonkey for feedback. At first, you'll take advantage of our logistical sweet spot and reduce the pain your team feels when managing education. Then before long, all learning results will flow through our platform so intelligence can be gleaned from those workflows. Intelligence meaningful to the overall strategy of the organization. There's simply so much more to show you because ultimately, will help you make your L&D efforts relevant to the business bottom line. I'm gonna show you an example of how Administrate can help save your organization money by helping with training requests and approval workflows. We serve customers that spend a lot of time and money making sure employees remain in compliance. But often employees are dispersed geographically while they're working on ships and they have tight timelines when they're able to attend training sessions. This makes it difficult to plan only the training you need with each course filled to maximum capacity. We consistently find that learning and development teams spend a majority of their time managing vital administrative tasks like email communications, spreadsheet updates, and manual tracking. I bet you'd rather see them working on more important stuff. Organizations like yours should not be spending hours each and every day manually approving training requests or processing last minute cancellations 
or ultimately losing money on empty seats. Our platform can help solve this problem. What you see here is a view of our employee portal. This is a portal for them to browse and request training. Here I can see that Edward is already enrolled on an engine operation course starting at the end of the month. This view allows Edward to see all the courses he is currently enrolled in and those he has taken in the past. When Edward clicks on the catalog button, he can browse all the available courses to him, which is tightly controlled so that the courses he sees always apply to his title and role. There is no way for him to register for a course that he's not allowed to take. Now, he can browse through categories of courses, but Edward knows that he needs to take an efficient deckhand course, so he clicks here. Everything he needs to know about the course, including the space remaining, what prereqs he needs, and what type of certification he will ultimately receive, is there. If there are multiple times or places where the course is being offered, then he can select the one most appropriate for the time he has off the ship. So, he requests this course. Now he clicks the location that he wants, Atlanta, and October 6th. So he clicks OK. Now he looks over his booking details, completes this request to book. Now this may not apply to you, and this is configurable as you need, but here we have a terms and condition that he needs to click. Now, okay. Once he has made his request, he can view that request as awaiting approval. See, everything quick, easy, and organized. Now we shift to the training team's view. Now, this is the view that a training administrator or a LD team member would see. Once his request has been made, let's refresh the screen. And whether that request comes as an email or they're watching their dashboard, the request from Edward arrives. So see here. Now it's time to manage his request. We can see how the system already knows who Edward is. So all of his details have been populated. The team member can see that his request has been made and they can also see the course that he's requested. Now, the team can approve that request, deny that request, or place it in a bucket for follow-up. It should be noted that the workflows you see here can be configured however you like, depending on your need. Now, once this request has been approved, we'll see that a registration has been made in Edward's name. This, okay. this is in case somehow an invoice needs to be generated for this uh, training request. I can see his registration and I can also see the course that he's enrolled in. And I can see he's now on that course, but I can click right here into the course. And I can go straight to the training event scheduled in the system and see that Edward is registered on that course. So here is my efficient deck end course, which is happening in Atlanta and has four sessions. I go over here to the student tab and now I can see that Edward is now enrolled on this course. Once he's enrolled on this course, you know, the system of course is going to send him confirmation emails, reminders, uh, SMS communications, um, and all of that might come immediately or come later. Now we shift back to Edward's view and see that his requested course shows up in his list of current and upcoming courses. There's a lot more going on here on the back end, and I'd love to show you sometime. But the point here is to show how complicated, often messy, and manual tasks can be avoided. And more importantly, your team will have complete visibility of employee request workflows. This not only saves your team a lot of headache and makes the process easy for Edward, but doing things this way will ensure that you will not be wasting precious training dollars. You can reduce money spent on empty seats to zero. How would you like to report that to your leadership team? As I mentioned earlier, Administrate has the most powerful reporting engine in the industry.
and I'm going to show you some of its benefits while demonstrating how easy it is to use. The reports we'll look at can be created and edited without any technical skills or additional costs, and they can pull information from anywhere to administrate or connected systems like a SurveyMonkey or Salesforce. I can build a new report by clicking this green button and choosing from any data type in the platform, or I can start with something I've already built. It's important to note that the report will update every time I open it, and I can access it through my browser bookmarks or through automatic email delivery. This report shows qualifications for safety at work expiring this month, something that's critical for compliance. I'll dig in and show you by clicking this edit report button. This report is filtered to show expirations this month and the next, as indicated by zero this month and one next month. But let's broaden that out a bit by adding some future months. So I'll click it and add a condition here. We'll go following month, and then let's go the month after that by typing a three. Now, now let's add an email address and expiration date. And we can do that through our output columns. So we're filtering here. Now we're gonna control the output of this report. So I can add an output column. So let's go contact, email, and then when this certification expires. Cool. Now I've got a better picture. I have identified a problem. Let's go ahead and save this report. Okay. Now, here's a course occupancy report, and this is fundamental for a training organization. Here in London is a safety at work course that's undersubscribed. I got 15 out of 20, and I know I need to train that cohort of students we looked at in our last report that's about to have an expired qualification. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this first event, and this will take me directly to where we have a safety at work course scheduled elsewhere in the platform. Okay. Now, I've got to add some students, so I'll click the student tab, then I will add student. Now I'll add students using the bulk add option. So check this out, this is cool. I type in any part of the name of the qualification checking report, and now I can select that report and enroll all the students at once. Now I've got those students on my registration list and I'm done. I've used the reporting engine to easily view and address a problem so I can get back to delivering better training. I've only shown you a tiny bit of what our platform can do, and I bet you have plenty of questions. We've put together a document to guide you in deciding whether your organization is in need of a training management platform. We recommend that you download it and discuss it with your team. Essentially, the discovery process goes like this. Are you able to produce reports on training activities, results, and resources easily and accurately? If you're not, this really inhibits your ability to prove ROI and makes your relevance limited. Um, does your LMS do more than deliver content? Because if your LMS is just a VCR playing content, how is it serving meaningful data back to you? Is your staff stretched too thin to the point of needing to hire? Because with the right systems in place, you won't need to throw expensive full-time employees at efficiency problems. Uh, also, what role does your training department play in significant business decisions for the organization? Because providing accurate business metrics relative to your programs will get you a seat at the table. And finally, can your current training system scale as your organization does? Because always having to implement new tech blows up budgets and disrupts institutional knowledge. Adopt something configurable and scalable and protect that momentum. If this all makes sense to you, then give us a call and we're happy to help. Thanks.